do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we had did a lecture that was based on chemical stoichiometry and now we are going to do a numeric which is based on that concept so let us understand it with a numeric let us see So this is the question which is based on uh, chemical stoichiometry. So first of all, the thing that we have to do is we have to analyze the question that what is the question is being asking about, and then we'll find out the answer. So the first thing is that they have given to calculate the mass of methane required to produce 100 gram of carbon dioxide by its combustion. In this case, the atomic mass of hydrogen, carbon, and uh, oxygen is also being provided to us. So the first thing is they have mentioned that the methane will undergo combustion so as to form carbon dioxide. But in this case, what they are asking is about they are asking that it will produce 100 gram of carbon dioxide. If it produces 100 gram of carbon dioxide, then how much amount or how much mass of methane is being required to produce 100 gram of carbon dioxide? So this is all that we are going to deal with, with chemical uh, stoichiometry. So the first thing is we should know that what would be the reaction of it. So what I am going to do is, I am going to represent a reaction of uh, combustion of methane. So let us see that how can we write the combustion of methane's reaction. So the chemical reaction can be represented as, as they are talking about combustion of uh, methane, that means suppose if methane is being used, and the combustion indicates that it will react in the presence of oxygen. So therefore, this is the oxygen that I have taken in the reactant side. And the one more important thing is, we are going to obtain a carbon dioxide. So this is the carbon dioxide that we have obtained. But it is not only the carbon dioxide that we are getting to obtain, because in this case, as we can see, that carbon when it reacts with oxygen, uh, it produces CO2, that is fine. But what about the hydrogen? The hydrogen will be liberated in the form of water. So therefore I will write it as H2. So in this case, if you see that the number of carbon uh, atoms which is uh, on the reactant side, that is in methane, in the form of methane, is 1. But that of uh, in the form of carbon dioxide, which is nothing but the on the product side, is also 1. So therefore it means carbon is being balanced, that is fine. But now when I am talking about the oxygen, this kind of mineral we have learned it earlier also, well, this kind of reaction. Uh, now when we are talking about uh, the oxygen, the oxygen atom on the left hand side, that is on the right hand side is 2 but that on the right hand side, that is on the product side is 2 plus 1, 3 so we have to balance this oxygen so how can we balance it? suppose, what if I will multiply this by 2 if I multiply this by 2, then what happens is the uh, number of atom uh, of oxygen on the right hand side, it becomes 4 but that of the number of uh, uh, oxygen atom on the product side it becomes 2 plus 1 again it is 3 itself so what I am going to do is I am going to manipulate it such that the number of atoms should be 4 so what I am going to do is I will multiply the product that is for H2 by 2 so now if I will see that the oxygen which is present now on the reactant side in the form of carbon dioxide is 2 but that of in H2 in one mole of H2 it contains one oxygen atom but in two moles of H2 it will contain two oxygen atoms so ultimately this is also 4 on the reactant side and on the product side is again uh, 4 oxygen atom that is on the product side. So now the oxygen is also being balanced. As well as the carbon dioxide, uh, carbon which was already being balanced, now let us check about what whether the hydrogen is being balanced or not. Again the hydrogen which is now here, 4 atoms of hydrogen which is present on the left hand side. Well that on the right hand side is again 2 into 2 which is nothing but 4. So now hydrogen oxygen and carbon all are being balanced. So this is a part of stoichiometry that is balancing a chemical equation that we have been trying. But now talking about the next one that is talking about the main thing that we are going to do is uh, they have said that uh, uh, during a chemical reaction that we have did, uh, we have we are going to analyze is that uh, one uh, mole of methane it will react with two moles of oxygen so as to produce one mole of carbon dioxide. So if I convert this thing into weight because as I know that number of moles is nothing but weight divided by molecular weight. So the molecular weight if it equals to the number the uh, weight of the particular uh, molecule then it will be the number of moles. So the number of moles is already 1 means n is equals to 1 and the molecular weight is uh, 
can be calculated here because the carbon has a molecular atomic weight of 12 by that of the hydrogen is 1. So there are four hydrogens basically here. So I could write the molecular weight uh, as the molecular weight or the molecular mass of CH4 can be written as C plus 4 times of H. So carbon has 12 plus 4 into hydrogen has 1. So therefore it becomes 12 plus 4 which is nothing but 16. So 16 gram per mole is the molecule, uh, molar mass of uh, CH4. By that of the carbon dioxide, if I have seen, because we have a main concern only about the methane and carbon dioxide that they have given to us. They have not mentioned that how much gram of uh, or how much mass of water will be produced or how much mass of oxygen is being required. Even though we can calculate for everything, but the main concern is only about methane and uh, the carbon dioxide. So if I talk about the carbon dioxide, so therefore I could write it the molar mass of carbon dioxide. There is of CO2, will be nothing but 12 plus oxygen has a value of 30, uh, oxygen has in, in the form of molecule, that is O2 will have 32. So therefore, because how it came, because car, uh, oxygen has a value of 16, atomic weight by that of another oxygen will also have a value of 16. So 16 plus 16 will make 32. At plus of uh, 12, so we will get something around 44 uh, gram per so this is how we have got that the number of uh, uh, molar mass uh, of uh, carbon dioxide is 44 by that of the methane is uh, 16 gram per So as we know that the, both the uh, reactants that is for methane and uh, carbon dioxide the both are being used as one mole itself. So I could write as the CH4 when reacts with uh, two types of uh, O2 it will produce that is CO2 plus 2 times H2. So as I know that the it is been uh, one mole of CH4 that is being used basically 16 gram of CH4 is producing that is 44 gram of carbon dioxide. So this is how we are dealing with strike. So basically 16 gram of methane will produce uh, 44 gram of uh, carbon dioxide. So now we could also write it uh, what would be the number of uh, grams of oxygen that is being required and how many gram of uh, hydrogen uh, that is H2 is being uh, produced. So let us talk about this thing itself. We could write it here also. No need of doing this thing, but it will be very much uh, easy to understand the overall reaction. So because oxygen has a molecular weight of 32 in the form of molecular form, that is 32. So 32. Multiply by 32, basically, uh, sorry, 32 uh, multiplied by 2 because there are two moles of oxygen. So it will be 64. 64 gram of uh, oxygen is being required. So as to react 16 gram of um, methane to produce 44 gram of carbon dioxide. But that of uh, the hydrogen, that is uh, in the form of H2, it will have a molecular weight of 18 for one mole of H2. So therefore, there are two moles of uh, uh, H2, that is 18 plus 18. This will give you a particular value of that is 36. So now I could write it as so now the main thing that uh, we are going to deal it with uh, they are asking uh, that how how many mass of methane is required to produce uh, 100 gram of carbon dioxide. So as you know that uh, 16 gram of uh, methane is being uh, converted or is being required to give that is 44 gram of CO2. So therefore, how much that is X gram of methane will produce 100 gram of CO2. So this is the deal that we are going to do. So this is how they have represented it. So what we are going to do, we are going to do a cross multiplication so as to get a final answer. So therefore, the X will be, I will take the X here. I will multiply 16 into 100, so therefore 16 into 100 divided by the 44. So let us see what is the answer. So let us see what is the value of x, that is how many gram of methane is been required to produce 100 gram of carbon dioxide. So basically, 36.36 gram of methane.
ethane is being required to give 100 gram of uh, CO2. So let us write it in the words so as to get a final answer. So we have got 36.36 gram of CH4 is required to produce 100 gram of CO2 during combustion. So this is the final answer that we have got. So this is a uh, numerical that was based on stoichiometry and this is how we calculate. We have gone very slowly but yes, we have analyzed it in a very uh, understanding manner. We have understood it very deeply. So as this kind of numerical, it is it, it was a very simple numerical but suppose if uh, more hectic numerical if it comes in your exam or if you are trying to solve, so you could solve it very easily. So this was all because of understanding the chemical stoichiometry and how to deal with this kind of reaction and how to analyze that how many reactants are we requiring grams so as to produce a particular amount of the product or how many product uh, what will be the amount of product that will be uh, formed when this much of a fixed quantity of reactant is being used so this was a numerical which is based on chemical stoichiometry so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have liked this video and yes to share this video with your friends too so share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe eGita channel thank you so much